Here at Akron Fossils and Science Center, we have birthday parties, and there are six different ways that you can celebrate with us. We have dino parties, jungle parties, wacky science, space, slime science, and crime scene investigation. And with each party, you get two hours in our party room, plus access to the outdoor park. And each party comes with super fun activities that are also secretly educational, but don't tell me it's that. And today, we are going to go through a few activities to give you a little taste of what it looks like to celebrate with us here at Akron Fossils and Science Center. So if you have a jungle party, one of the extra pack party package features you can do is a creature feature. And with a creature feature, we will actually get one of our animal friends out here and let you meet them up close and personal. So we got one of our favorite animal friends out today for you. This is Oscar. He is the sweetest snake of all the snakes. We always say, if you are afraid of snakes, meet Oscar because he is just such a sweet snake. Now he is a ball python. And the reason they're called ball pythons is because you can see he loves to wrap himself up into a ball shape. They are constrictors, so that he feels really comfortable like that. They're also called royal pythons. They are originally from Africa. And some of the African royalty would actually wear these guys like jewelry because he will wrap around my arm, he'll wrap around my neck, and they've got this gorgeous pattern on them. So it makes a pretty good bracelet. Now Oscar here is a reptile, and that means that he gets his heat from external sources. So if you have a snake on you, they might try to go down your shirt or around your neck because that's where the warm places are, and they're just trying to get some heat. Another fun fact about reptiles, they can't close their eyes. So if you look at Oscar's eyes right here, he actually just has a clear scale over each eye. So he can't close his eyes. Another reason why snakes love dark places. So if you see a snake with milky white eyes, they're actually shedding. And that is because that milky white is the lubricant between their old skin and their new skin. So those are just a few fun facts about our friend Oscar here. If you come and have a jungle party, you might get to say hello to Oscar or some of our other animal friends we have here at Akron Fossils and Science Center. The most popular activity on our CSI birthday party theme is fun with fingerprinting. And fingerprinting is a form of biometric identification. Each living human has their fingerprints and they can be used to catch criminals. So we can look at fingerprints either by inking them, we can put them on this little sheet. This is something used by the FBI in order to document fingerprints. Or we can also pull prints off of something like glass or metal, and we can use this little beaker right here. So with our activities, we are going to learn about the loop, whirl, and the arch. Those are the three important fingerprint patterns. So we will take our special fingerprint sheets here and we can take some of our ink on our finger and we'll roll our fingerprint out here and then we'll try to analyze all of our fingerprints to learn more about that biometric identification world. And then we can also, this is my favorite part of it, also take some of this special fingerprint powder in this little bag here. We're going to dump some out right on this little tray. Just need a little bit since it's so fine. And then we have to get some oil on our fingerprint. So we can maybe rub it on part of our face or our skin, and that'll pick up some of the natural oils on our skin. And we can take our finger and roll it right on this glass. Any material will do. And then we can take this brush and then dip some of this fingerprint powder, get some of the excess off. And then we're gonna take it in like a twirling motion and we can rub some of that fingerprint dust on there, and we'll end up with these really cool prints that we can then analyze just like our inked ones. So that would be our fun with fingerprinting in our CSI birthday party. Okay. So the next birthday party theme we're going to look at is our wacky scientist birthday party, and we look at all sorts of fun experiments in the chemistry world, and we can do some chemical and some physical experiments and all sorts of activities here. We have all sorts of fun things to choose from. So we're gonna look at one of our most popular, which is our balloon blast. So it's perfectly themed for our birthday parties because we can blow up our own birthday balloons using the power of science. So what we're gonna do is take two special substances here. 
You can find them just around your house. And then we'll take some baking soda and we'll put this in our little balloon here. So this balloon is going to capture some of the byproducts of our chemical reaction. We'll be able to see that when it blows up here. So now we have some baking soda in there. We're gonna take some special vinegar, dyed it green for the wacky scientist effect. We'll pour it into our little beaker here. Just a little bit. We don't want it to go too crazy, right? We don't wanna pop our balloon. That wouldn't be too fun. So then we'll stick our balloon right on top of our beaker. Then we'll usually do a little birthday countdown just for fun. And then we can dip it right in and we'll have our chemical reaction happening. And we're gonna create all these new different substances that we'll talk about with our party. And then it'll blow up our balloon and that would be our super fun balloon blast activity. Okay, so the next birthday party theme we're gonna look at is the amazing astronomy theme. All space themed activities, it's super fun. And our most popular would probably be our nebula painting. So we're gonna combine a little bit of art and some chemistry science here. We're gonna take a piece of paper and some special paints. Let's see. And we can emulate our super beautiful nebulas up in space on our paper. Let's see, we can pour a little bit of paint in here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour in some effervescent tablets. This is going to help create a little bit of pressure inside. And we're gonna put some water in to help speed it up a little bit so we're not waiting forever. And we'll stick our lid on. Keep the pressure in. Let's stick it on our paper. We'll walk away so we don't get sprayed with paint. Let's see if it pops. Whoop! There we go! Oh my goodness! <laughs> so we have our really pretty nebula painting here now. It's super cool. And then we can make a few of these on our paper and we'll take it home along with some of the other fun activities that we're gonna do with our space theme party. Mm -hmm. So we're here in one of our main birthday party rooms to show you a slime experiment. So there's tons of different types of slime that you can choose to make for your slime party, but a really special one that you can usually only do places like this would be glow in the dark slime because you need special black lights. So we're gonna start off with just a little bit of Elmer's glue. Now this is a polymer and the way that this works is all of these are linked into slippery chains so they can slide past one another. That's why your glue can move and slide just like this. But we are going to add this liquid starch and that is going to change the makeup of our polymer here. Instead of being slippery chains like this, it's going to make them cross each other and that's going to make them start binding and that's gonna make the slime that we know and love. So we're gonna add a bit of our special ingredient here. And this is for people who love to get messy and we're just gonna start mixing. Now the more starch you add, the stickier it's gonna become. And you can actually get it to be almost like putty. So this looks goopy, but how does it glow? Well, we gotta add our special ingredient right here. So we're gonna add a few drops of this stuff. So we're gonna drop in our special ingredient here and you're gonna see some glow in the dark slime. Now there's tons of different types of slime we can make here at Akron Fossils. We can even make temperature color changing slime, which is really cool. But the black light's pretty unique. And all you need are three simple ingredients. You just need glue, starch, and a little bit of highlighter, and a black light. Okay, so the last and final birthday party theme we're going to look at is getting dusty digging for dinosaurs. So we have all sorts of fun activities that are fossil, dinosaur, paleontology themed, and our most popular would probably be our volcano, which is super fun. So we're gonna look at two different types of volcanoes. We're going to look at an effusive volcano and an eruptive volcano. So we're going to start off with our effusive volcano. We'll pour a little bit of our lava inside of our volcano, right? If it was real, it would already be inside, but it's for a science experiment. We'll pour some in. And then we'll take some special baking soda here. 
pour some in. So this isn't going to be a crazy reaction because it's just kind of fizzling out. That would be our effusive volcano. So we can pour some in here. Let's see, there we go. We have our little basin on the bottom to catch it, just so we don't make a huge mess. So that would be our effusive. It's not too crazy, just kind of fizzling. So for our next different type of eruption, we're going to look at an eruptive volcano, which could be comparable to like Mount St. Helens when that erupted. All of this ash and smoke came out of the volcano at really high speeds, it's super dangerous. Don't wanna be around that one, or any volcano for that matter. Wouldn't be a good idea. So we are going to simulate a special eruptive volcano with coke and mentos. And we'll see, I'm kind of scared to do this. Don't want to get sprayed in the face, but we'll stick some Mentos inside. We'll have a special science reaction here that will make it hopefully blow up. Let's see, then we'll step back. There we go. There we go. So that would be our eruptive volcano. It's a little bit crazier, and it's usually a lot quicker than our effusive volcanoes too. So we can kind of see that represented here. So that would be our special volcano experiment.